Two important steps in data preparation are to limit the data to meaningful columns and create a meaningful header row. Both of these steps help those who may look at your work, such as a reviewer or a client, but weren't involved in the data transformation process. These steps help them understand what information is contained in each column and not get bogged down by examining unnecessary information. Drag a Select tool from the Preparation menu until it connects with the Text to Columns tool from Step 9. If you need more space, use the scroll bar at the bottom to get more blank canvas space. We remove unnecessary fields by unchecking the box next to the field name. Uncheck the box next to file name. We can remove this field now that we have each important piece of information in the four distinct columns. Let's reorder the columns so that the relevant identifying information, such as fields 1 through 4, come before the data of interest by highlighting the mDNA field and clicking on the down arrow until it comes after field 4. Then let's rename field 1 as sick. Field 2 as company name, field 3 as form, and field 4 as fiscal year end. Rename the CONCAT MDA field to MDA. Then save and run your workflow. Good job! Click on the Select tool and verify that your data is limited to five fields with the identifying information coming before the mDNA data. Additionally, your header row should have meaningful labels that facilitate a common understanding of the data contained within each row. In the next video, you will engage in some final data cleansing to prepare your data set for text analytics.